I wanted to do one more video on the subject of homosexuality today. I'm not saying this is the last ever. I've noticed that a lot of people seem to... I mean, the tone of some of the people... It's like they think homosexuality is a crime or somehow inherently harmful. Let's just start with the fact that homosexuals are not necessarily pedophiles, nor are they necessarily rapists at all. There may be some homosexuals who are pedophiles and or rapists, but so are a lot of straight people. I'm not saying it would make it okay. I'm not saying that if you're gay, you're allowed to rape or sexually abuse children. Of course not. But you can't really say that they're the same thing. They're not. It's every bit as likely that a straight person is a rapist or a pedophile. There's also a I suppose less important misconception that homosexuals all dress in women's clothing or that every man who dresses in women's clothing is homosexual. That's just not true. That's called a transvestite. That just means that they enjoy wearing the clothes of the other gender. Not all transvestites are homosexuals. Not all homosexuals are transvestites. Or some, yes, sure, but not all. I guess a lot of people just believe that it's somehow immoral or harmful. In some places it is criminal, in other places a lot of people seem to think it should be criminal. If you get this from some sort of old book, I don't know, maybe I can't reach you other than to ask you to consider, you know, back then, back when, if you had ten children, maybe eight of them died. You know, back when you were old, when you were thirty years old, yes, back then it made sense to not like the idea that some of the people you're expecting to, you know, breed the next generation would not do so, of course, but it doesn't today. We have enough people. And it, if it isn't about the breeding, do you expect them to hurt the family? Why, exactly? I, I don't quite understand that argument. Do you think that just because everyone isn't a nuclear family that all nuclear families, or most, will suddenly disband? Do you think that it's that weak and fragile? If something is that weak and fragile, then it might not be the best thing. Let's say, as I believe a lot of people who care very much about the nuclear family believe, let's say that the nuclear family is the basis of a healthy society. If the nuclear family is that fragile that 
open homosexuality would actually destroy the nuclear family, then why would you make that the basis of society? I mean, that... Have you ever heard that story about the three little pigs? You know, two of them build houses of not very good material, and the wolf blows them down. Is that really what you want to happen to society? A lot of people seem to talk about homosexuality as if it is just by definition a bad thing. Like it is harmful. Let me compare it to two acts that are actually harmful. Murder and rape. Regardless of if you got this from an old book or just by thinking about it, murder and rape are, objectively speaking, harmful activities. The survivors, the families, are deeply, deeply affected. When someone is murdered, all of the people who love that person are very deeply hurt. Death is always painful, but when it is that sudden, it is extremely hurtful. And perhaps this person is even killed in the prime of their life, you know? You know that cliché, they had so much left to give? It's a cliché for a reason. To kill someone, whether, regardless of how you look at it, that is harmful to those who survive. I'm not going to go into capital punishment here, but to kill someone, to take a life, it hurts those that survive that person. And to rape is a deep violation of another human being. And the family, I mean, regardless of if the person survives or not, the family is going to be deeply affected. And if the victim survives the rape, they may have to deal with it for the rest of their life. These are two definitively harmful actions. Can you in any way compare homosexuality to that? Does it bother you that much? The idea of two people of the same gender in the privacy of their own home having sex. Is, is that really that big of a deal? Do you really think that it's somehow going to hurt people more or as much as a murder or a rape. And if you are not one of the people who do equate murder, rape, and homosexuality and homosexual acts, but you still think of homosexuality as somehow wrong or bad. Think about the fact that homosexuals are actually murdered in some places. Homosexuals actually commit suicide sometimes because they aren't accepted as the way they are. I just think that should really stir some kind of reaction that you might get to thinking that, okay, maybe, just maybe, the homosexuality is not actually as big of a problem as the murder 
or at the very, very least, the chastising and bullying of people who are just a certain way. Have you ever been singled out and mistreated for being a certain way that you couldn't help? Hair color, skin color, the way you dress. Okay, maybe the way you dress is a little more something you can choose, but if you have, then just just try to imagine a lifetime of that. Try to imagine that it's constant. You know, not just at the school or you know wherever you were bullied for. And I'm not trying to downplay any other victims of bullying, you know. I'm not saying that only the homosexual victims of bullying deserve support and sympathy. But I would say that the bullying of homosexuals is one of the worst situations of bullying. It's It's one of the ones that has the worst consequences and is the most widespread. And I just really think we should try to do something about that. And if you ask me, it starts at understanding and accepting. You may be only one person, unless you're watching this video with a friend, but if you change your mind and maybe you try to change some other people's minds then it will gradually happen. That's it for this one.